our fathers brought forth on this continent a new nation, conceived in liberty and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal. Now we are getting to the Great Civil War, to whether that nation or any nation so conceived and so dedicated to long endure. We are met on the great battlefield of that war. We have come to dedicate a portion of that field as the final resting place for those who here gave their lives that that nation might live. It is altogether fitting and proper that we should do this. But in a larger sense, we cannot consecrate, we cannot dedicate, we cannot follow this ground. The brave, the brave men, living and dead, who struggled here, consecrated them, far above our poor power to add or detract. The world little know or long remember what we say here, but it can never forget what they did here. It is for us a living, rather, to be dedicated here to the great task we need. And that from these honored dead, we take increased devotion to that cause for which they gave the last full measure of devotion. That we hear high resolve that these dead shall have not died in vain, that this nation, under God, shall have a new birth of freedom. That government of the people, by the people, for the people. To be dedicated here to the unfinished work which they have applied here have thus far.